welcome to my channel. Today we've got a Let's Cook a Lean and Green. Okay, so over the past few weeks, what I've been trying to do is give y'all a 15 minute Lean and Greens. Well, I was really wanting this pepperoni casserole that I made. Um, I put it on Facebook a while back, so y'all may have seen it, but I'm gonna tell you, it tastes just like a pepperoni pizza. And though it takes longer than 15 minutes, it's still a real time saver. And the reason it is, is because it's a, it's a, it's what I call a one pot meal. So your full lean and green was, it is in the one dish. You know, you make a casserole and your serving is a complete lean and green and it's four servings. So for Scott and I, that means I cook once and we eat twice that's a time saver. Your family's four or more, and that would serve the whole thing. You could always make two, and then you still could cook once and eat twice. Okay, so let me show you how we do this, y'all. It is so yummy. Now, the original recipe um, was actually a crock pot recipe, and one of my clients converted it into a casserole, and that's how I'm going to show y'all to do it, and I'll put the recipe down in the notes below. So, let's get started. It's so yummy, y'all. Okay, so one of the vegetables in this dish is uh, cauliflower rice. Uh, now, the recipe calls for fresh, but I don't do well with fresh cauliflower. I'm not sure what that is, but the frozen works fine for me. So I've got a bag of this in the microwave. I only need two cups, and I think the one bag will do it, but just in case, I have another one. I'm also browning up some ground beef, so it's going to have ground beef and pepperoni and marinara sauce and cheese and cauliflower. It's the basics of this recipe. So I'm browning up some ground beef and now I'm gonna add some condiments, some seasonings. Just the basics, garlic powder, and I think it's a half teaspoon. I'm going by memory, y'all, because this recipe is on my phone. So a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and then three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. So this is a half teaspoon of salt, <laughs> and this is a fourth teaspoon, which then would make three fourths. Look at me doing math. And then a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. All right, so that is the, oh, I, you know what I just realized? God, that was going the whole time. I hope y'all could even hear me. All right, so there is my ground beef. I'm getting that all seasoned up and browned up. Once I get that done, we're gonna start mixing it all together. Let me check my cauliflower rice. Okay, so my hamburger meat is nice and brown. Uh, I've already drained the fat off of it and it's back in the skillet. There wasn't hardly any fat on it to begin with because it's 96% lean. So I'm kind of um, modifying things. This bag made almost two cups cooked, so it's not enough. And so I, I don't wanna cook a whole other bag because I would just use a tiny bit of it. That's not worth it. So I'm gonna add a little bit more marinara sauce than I would normally, just a little, just to make up the green. I mean, who doesn't love a little more marinara sauce? So right now I'm going to weigh my hamburger meat because I need 12 ounces and I'm gonna add that to the cauliflower. So here we go. Okay, I got my bowl right on there. This is a pound of ground beef that I browned and I'm gonna see, I'm hoping it's right at 12 ounces. If not, the doggies are gonna get a little extra in their food bowls tonight. Well, I'm gonna be honest, that's not even quite 12 ounces. Okay, so I'm probably gonna to need to add a little extra cheese to this as well. Sometimes you just gotta go with it, people. But I will put the actual recipe, what's actually called for, and y'all can do it precisely, okay? Now you're just gonna add your ground beef right to your cauliflower. The recipe calls for two ounces of pepperoni, one ounce chopped up in the mixture and one ounce reserved for topping. So let me cut this up real quick and add it to the mixture. Okay, y'all, I had to take a brief intermission. Um, I had to interrupt for a very special client call. One of my clients and YouTube followers, her name is Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Um, I just got off the phone with her because today was her day four check-in call. She's new on plan. And I'm just gonna give her a shout out and brag about her because this gal is blowing it out of the water. She was so cute. She just told me she's been binge watching my videos and she's cooking ahead. She's just making every little lean and green for the week and staying, oh man, she is just doing so good. Y'all, on her day four weigh-in, she's lost a little over five pounds so far this week. Now, I have to say a disclaimer right here. 
Um, weight loss, average weight loss is one pound per week for 12 weeks, 12 pounds, 12 weeks. There's my disclaimer. That's the typical average weight loss. I'm so proud of her. She's done so good. And I just wanted to give her a little shout out. Okay, now back to our pepperoni pizza. Actually, it's hamburger pepperoni. Hamburger pepperoni pizza casserole. Here we go. Okay, I had to make some modifications because I did not have enough hamburger meat and I did not have enough cauliflower to make the full thing. So what I did is I'm gonna do a little more marinara sauce to make up the greens and I added a little bit of cheese, extra cheese, to make up the lean portion. All right, so in this bowl, let me scoop this over. In this bowl so far, what I've got is the rice cauliflower and the ground beef. Now I'm gonna add the uh, chopped up pepperoni. And some Parmesan cheese. Uh, the recipe actually calls for some different spices that count as condiments that I'm not gonna use. Uh, Scott and I aren't big on Italian spices, like oregano and basil and things like that. I kinda like them, but he really doesn't. So I always keep those out. So I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna have the full uh, condiments, but that's okay because I'm gonna use a condiment later. All right, so a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese is what it calls for. There we go. And then I'm supposed to put two cups of marinara. We're gonna do a little more than that to make up for our greens. You know, this is a casserole, it's making four servings. All right, so there's one cup. That seems like a lot. You know what, let me check my recipe and make sure, and it's on my phone, so hang on. It was right. Yeah, so it's eight greens. I have to do two cups. I forget, it's a big old casserole making four servings. Each serving has three greens. Hold on. So that's one cup. Let's put one more cup. Made it a heaping cup. That should make up for the little tiny bit of cauliflower we were missing. Even. I think I'm gonna have to add one little pepperoni. Don't I need a pepperoni? I think I need one right there, don't I? There we go, now I feel better. Y'all, it's a thing of beauty. All right, let's pop in the oven and let it go. Okay, it's in the oven, 350 for 35 minutes. All right, so while that's cooking, I'm not gonna talk to you for 35 minutes, obviously, but I want to give you two tips. This is my mini coach's corner. Okay, so I don't know if you're aware of this, but Optavia has all kinds of different programs. Y'all always hear me talk about the five and one, but do you know I started on something else? I started on the four, two, and one. That means I had four fuelings, two lean and greens, and one healthy snack, which is different from an optional snack. We also have programs that are called the five, two, and two. Uh, we have a three and three. We have programs for nursing moms. We have programs for um, teens. We have programs for people who have gout. Uh, we have all kinds of different specified programs. So that's one reason it's really important before you place your order to try to talk to somebody first to make sure you're getting on the, on the right plan. But anyway, regardless of all that, I'm gonna give you a tip. If you're one of the people that are on like the four, two, and one or the five, two, two, any program that requires two leaning greens, here's my tip. All right, you can do something like this, make a casserole and your leftovers become tomorrow's lunch lean and green. Or what I used to do all the time is whenever I made dinner, no matter what it was, even if it wasn't a casserole like this, just say I was cooking a pork chop and green beans and some broccoli. Instead of just making two servings, one for me, one for Scott, always made a third one. And then I just put it in my little container, stuck it in the fridge. That was my lunchtime lean and green. Yeah. So, I am all about keeping things simple, you guys. So, so that will help out on that. Okay, my next tip. <laughs> now this is more of really Coach's Corner. So I was talking to a client today and I had already kind of planned on talking to y'all about this, but when I was talking to her, it was just perfect because it was 
right in my brain. Um, she's brand new on plan. She's she's one week in, and she's got a big event tomorrow. And it's, or not tomorrow, I think, but this week. You know, one of those work events where it's catered. And there's going to be all kinds of yumminess, you know what I mean? One of those things. And so she was asking for, you know, best strategies, how to, you know, work around that. So I gave her some tips, things that she can do. And of course, planning ahead is the number one thing. You got to go in having a plan, knowing what you're going to do. So I told her, you know, you can have your leaning green at that time and just make bet your best choices. Stick with your protein and your vegetables, you know, that kind of thing. You could do that. Or you could save your landing green for dinner, just like normal, and just have a fueling or two during that time, during the event. That's totally up to you. I said, but plan ahead and know what you're gonna do. I said, but the number one thing you can do to help yourself in that situation is something that my granddaughter had to learn to do um, from, well, her whole life. It's been her whole life. So some of y'all already know this. Um, if I'm your coach, you definitely know this because I've talked to y'all about it. Um, I read a book last year and one of the phrases in that book was not my food. When you're um, trying to get healthy and you are, um, you're practicing saying no to certain type foods, um, there's a phrase we can use, not my food. So when you see something you know is not on plan, don't stand there and try to decide, should I have it, should I not have it? Just say, not my food. So where does my granddaughter fit into this? Okay, this is where she fits. So my granddaughter, my sweet granddaughter, Grace, um, she has a very severe peanut allergy. Um, we're not talking about one that she'll break out in a rash. We're talking about one that she has to carry EpiPens with her everywhere she goes. Um, it's very, it's very serious. So her whole life, she's had to say no to anything that has peanuts in it. Um, think about that, y'all. Now, she's 12. She's never had Chick-fil-A. She's never had a peanut butter cookie. She's never had Reese's. She's never had most candy bars. Many, many candy products are off the shelf for her because she not only can she not have actual peanuts, she can't have anything that's been manufactured in a plant that also manufactures nuts or peanuts, okay? When we take her to the movie, we have to get the kitchen manager to take a screenshot of the label of the oil and the popcorn so Nana knows that it's safe for her. So we're, we're talking serious stuff here. So Grace has always learned that those certain foods are just not her food. So when she goes to a party or she's even, you know, at a family function even, and she goes to the buffet table and there's peanut butter cookies or something like that, she doesn't stand there and go, oh, should I have it? Should I not? And she just goes right past it because she knows, she's trained herself, that's not my food. So what I told this client was, I said, here's the problem. When we go into a situation like that, if choosing off plan is still an option in our mind, that's when we have to practice willpower at that event. But if we don't make it an option, if it's just not an option and we know that going in, it's not our food, then we do not have to use our willpower to say no. We can just walk right past it like, you know, just like Grace does, not my food, not my food. And you, you've already planned what you're gonna do so you know what you're gonna do. Okay, so that's my little coach's corner for today. And then I'm gonna go check on this. And as soon as it's ready, I'm gonna dish it up. Scott and I are gonna eat. And then we're gonna tell you some very exciting news about a special deal that's going on right now. If y'all, um, if you're somebody that's interested in this program, you're thinking, oh, well, summer's coming. Maybe I need to do something. We're gonna tell you about something pretty, pretty exciting. Okay. See ya. See ya at the bar when we're ready to eat. Okay, guys, I just pulled it out of the oven. I just wanted you to get a real good close up. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I don't even believe we get to eat this way and lose weight or even, you know, maintain weight. Y'all. I'm going to let it cool off. Scott is smelling it. He's like, is dinner ready? Is dinner ready? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> so I'm going to let it cool off for just a couple minutes, plate it up, and we'll meet you at the bar. You hungry? I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, he was in his office and he's like, okay, what am I smelling? What am I smelling? 
yeah, so there we go, y'all. Pizza mm -hmm. casserole. And this is a one dish meal, you're full lean and green. So he's gonna he's gonna dig in, and while he's digging in, I'm gonna tell y'all, I told y'all there was a special thing I wanted to tell you about. So right now, okay, I've been with Octavia for a little over three years. And from what I understand, they've only done this twice. Two years ago during the pandemic and right now. So what they're doing, they have they call it their essential start discount for brand new and restart clients. Like if it's been, I think it's like if it's been over nine months since you've been on plan. <laughs> mm. You also are eligible for this discount. And the discount is $90 off your first box, you guys. Bam! It's oh, a, it's wow. a It's a great discount. And so Scott and oh, I... Oh, I thought the, the pizza's good, too. Oh, the pizza's good, too. <laughs> so Scott and I, we're going to add $10 to that and make it an even $100 off for anybody who is thinking maybe they would like to start this program. I mean, y'all, it's a great time. That's gonna the pro, That discount's been going on since Monday... Uh, the 21st mm -hmm. and it's good through april 18th that's right so if you're interested i've got a wellness form um in my description all you got to do is fill that out and i'll get in touch with you okay that's and right. we, we can talk it over and yeah, and yeah. you could be eating like this too <laughs> excellent all right i, I hey, gotta it's worth I, the try all right, i gotta try you. it i gotta try it is it too hot oh, i tried no. to let it cool off no it cooled off and okay. it's delicious oh, here we go look at that oh i just mm. dropped some oh snap <laughs> Don't want that, y'all. Okay, that's a big bite. Big bite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's the best ever. Now, I have to give credit to Cindy on this one. Cindy found this. Uh, it was a crock pot recipe, and she kind of tweaked it and made it a casserole. I, I may try it in the crock pot next time, but oh, oh I just call it pizza in a bowl. That's what it is. It's, pizza, it's a pizza casserole. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys, we're going to go enjoy this, and I hope y'all are having a great, wonderful day. And until we get back together again, you guys stay safe, you stay well, and, and we're, we're out. out.